In this video, we will try to understand what is this thing called as MVC display mode. Now we all know that it's a world of small devices that is mobile. And as a MVC developer, I expect a lot of support uh, from Microsoft MVC template, you know, when it comes to mobile applications, right? Now, if you uh, think logically, right, mobile and desktop screens, you know, they have huge variation in size. So what you would like to do is, you know, we would like to create different screens for desktop and different screens for mobile. For example, you know, I would like to create a home.aspx screen for desktop, which is large, big, and the fonts, you know, can be seen more clearly. And I would like to create a home.mobile.aspx, which is small, sleek, you know, a size of a mobile, uh, you know, so that it serves the mobile users. Now, what I would like to do is, you know, if my MVC can automatically detect the device type, and render the appropriate page that would really save a lot of work for me and that's where exactly you know where this MVC display mode comes into picture so what happens is you know when a user sends a request uh, to the to the MVC application it uses this user agent variable to detect you know if this is a desktop or if this is a mobile so if this is a desktop he will send him to home.aspx if this is a mobile it will actually search for a dot mobile.aspx extension and render that page okay and in case you are using razor then this page name should be home.cshtml and this will be home.mobile.cshtml so what i'll do is uh, let us go ahead and create a very simple application let's do a small demo and let's see that how this whole thing works so you can see that you know here's a very simple uh, mvc web application i have so what i'll do is so as i've said you know i'll go and create two views okay one view for the mobile and one view for the desktop so i'll go to my shared folder here i'll just go ahead and add a view here so i'm going to say here add view so this one is for desktop so i'll just say index.aspx currently i have not used any kind of master page at this moment so i'll say that okay um, these are for big boys okay <laughs> uh, desktop okay and I'll go ahead and I'll go and create one more screen here and this screen will be meant for mobile applications right so I'm going to go and uh, for, for mobile uh, devices so I'll go and say here again index but at this moment I'll say index dot mobile right so so that's the magic you're just say dot mobile and the rest of the things you know display mode will do it for you so I'm going to go and add here and say these are uh, these are for small and sweet people right uh, mobile okay great so you can see here uh, on the screen here i have uh, two pages here one for the desktop this is index.aspx and other one for the mobiles that is mobile.aspx and what i'll do is I'll, I'll go and add a very simple controller here and let's name this controller as the home controller so i'll say this is home ah my mouse so i'll say this is home here right and um, I'll go and render this view. So uh, in this, you can see that I have an action called as index. So this index will actually go and display index.aspx, right? Uh, and that's it. So I'll go and do a control F5. So now uh, let's first check for desktop, right? For desktop, I'll just go and run this. So I'll say control F5 here. So you can see there my application is running. So it is actually going to the index page here. And because this is a desktop request, right? So he has, uh, he means, you know, the display mode has redirected, you know, this request to index.aspx. Now let me go and copy this URL here and uh, let us try to invoke this via a mobile emulator. Okay. So you can see here I have downloaded a very sweet emulator, my favorite emulator that is the Opera mobile emulator. So I'll go to this Opera mobile emulator here and let me try to uh, go and simulate, you know, if as if the request is coming from a mobile so you can see here i have i've i've started this emulator here i'll say launch so i'll go to my url of the emulator and i'll say enter now you can see here uh, automatically the display mode has detected that you know this request is coming from a mobile and he has displayed index.mobile.aspx so display mode is nothing but it's automation given by the MVC template, you know, where depending on the user agent, he will redirect you to the appropriate pages. Now let us go ahead and do something more complicated. More complicated means uh, uh, we would like to do, so do something like this, you know. Uh, for example, um, I would like to do, let me just open my notepad here. 
let's say I want to do something like this. I would like to say here, okay, if it is a desktop, then show index.aspx, right? If it's a mobile, for all mobiles, iPad and for everything, right? Uh, go ahead and show uh, index.mobile.aspx, right? But if it's Android, okay, if it's Android, I would like to create a very specific page. So can you display index dot android.aspx? So you can see here, uh, I'm trying to achieve more customization. So what I would like to do here is if it is desktop, go to index.aspx. If it is any kind of mobile, just go to index.mobile.aspx. But if the request is coming from Android, I would like to go and display index.android.aspx. Again, that is very easy over here. So to achieve the same, what we have to do is let's go to our global.a6 file. So let me go to this global.a6 file here and over here, uh, we have to go and put a small code here and this code goes something like this. Okay. Uh, we have something called as the display mod mo model provider class. In this, we have something called as the modes collection. So in that modes collection, we have to just go ahead and add this Android thing here and say that if you find something you know some kind of a request coming from android then go ahead and use the android.aspx so you can see here it's actually saying okay index of means if you find this word in your user agent variable of the request object go ahead and use index.android.aspx so this is the only one line of code you need to put there now remember that this display mo uh, model provider class belongs to uh system.web.webpages so we need to ensure that we import this namespace so i'm going to go and just go ahead go ahead and import this namespace and done right there it is so i'm going to go and build the solution and the next step is very easy we have to just go ahead and add one more page here or one more view uh, into the shared folder called as index dot android and droid okay so here i'll say this this is for and android okay right and that's it so again i'll go and run this application so i'll say control f5 here so you can see that he is displaying me the desktop screen that's great now let's let's go back to our emulator and let's run using android as the agent user agent so i'm going to go and choose this one here amazon kindle fire and i'll choose this user agent as android and uh, i should see the android page so i'm going to do a control v here control v i'll say enter and you can see this is for android right so in case you want to do further customization you know what you can do is you can go and uh, make an entry into this global.asx file here saying that if you find this user agent right you need to do this right so i hope that you have enjoyed this video in this video we were trying to understand what exactly are display modes and how do they help us in creating mobile applications thank you so much